Hi friends, Tesla and Elon Musk have said that they are open to licensing software, supplying powertrains and batteries. We are just trying to accelerate sustainable energy, not crush competitors. So why have nobody taken up Tesla on their offer? There is only one reason why this hasn't happened. There is no urgency. Legacy automakers are not feeling the pain yet. And by pain, I'm referring to slowly boiling the frog in water theory. Also, by licensing from Tesla means they are telling the world their incapable team of engineers can't do better than Tesla. However, this time it's going to be very different. Soon, Tesla will be making like billions from licensing their battery technology. So in this video, I'll talk about why licensing from Tesla will happen. Elon made it very clear during Battery Investor Day. It's like if you look back in history and say, what? What good did Tesla do? Um, the good will be to what, you know, by how many years did we accelerate sustainable energy? That's like the, the true metric of, of, of success. You know, it, it matters if, if sustainable energy happens faster or slower. And, and so that's really like how I think about Tesla and how we should, you know, sort of assess our, our progress. You know, how, by how many years did we accelerate sustainable energy? He is literally telling the world Come, let's do this together. Previously, there is no urgency for powertrains because electric motors and powertrains are fundamentally very efficient. You can do the most serious engineering and achieve about 2-3% to gains. How about like Tesla software? No urgency too because people don't really see the need to have Tesla software. However, now we are talking about batteries, an immediate 54% range increase and a 56% reduction. That is a whole different story. So let's say you are Toyota, Volkswagen Group, Panasonic, CATL, etc. No matter how you look at the match, you are going to lose. Unless all these auto companies and batteries companies come together, out innovate and vertically integrate, uh, nah, it's not going to be possible. It's going to be like impossible to come close to Tesla. Catch up at this point for the competition for the next 10 years is not going to happen. I repeat, catch up at this point for the competition for the next 10 years is not going to happen. Think about it. An immediate increase of 54% range and 56% cost reduction. <sighs> Tesla reinvented the battery, removing many limitations. It's like do you remember the days of Dalat modems? It was so slow and overall damn stupid compared to what we have now. It is exactly the same with Tesla's technology. Tesla just created and patented their technology. Everybody is going to need their technology. I mean, it is just plain dumb if you're going to use the same amount of materials from nickel, lithium, silicon, graphite, something like that to produce Something that is 54% worse and 56% more expensive. So let's say you are a specialty car maker like uh, Remac. Remac is an amazing team, but no matter how you perfectly engineer your car, the carbon fiber monocoque and stuff, if your batteries cannot provide a 50 plus percent increase, I'm not going to talk about the cost. It's game over. Think about it. Tesla will be selling a Model S plate 0 to 60 under 2 seconds. $439,000. F1 acceleration at that price. I mean, who comes close? Nobody. Tesla's closest competitor is a Tesla. Battery day is the day the world started to change for real. My thoughts are just all over the place because the impact is so big, it's so hard to see the future. Now, I want you to imagine you are battery suppliers like Panasonic, LG Chem, CATL, Samsung, you know, their whole Note 7 blowing up and BYD and etc. I want you to put yourself in their shoes. Now, they need to reinvent themselves or out-innovate Tesla or, or license Tesla's technology. What do you think is going to happen? Let's say you're Panasonic and you throw your best engineers at work. They're just going to get like the 5% improvement. Tesla sales, I repeat, are 50% cheaper and 54% more range. We have yet to talk about the thermal benefits, charging rate, or even the charge cycles in the new cell. I know some of you are going to talk about solid state battery. I already told you guys many times, solid state is a fool's dream. It's like hydrogen fuel cells. I called Nicolas bullshit. No, uh, there is a few others that called Nicolas bullshit too. 
I'm telling you that solid state battery is a fool's dream. Don't get me started on Bill Gates' uh, bad company that quantum scape shit. If you are invested in that company, good luck. Okay, uh, that was mean. Okay, quantum scape is not as bad as Nikola, but it still sucks. This is what I predict. Companies will start to license Tesla's battery technology. There is a smaller chance companies will buy directly from Tesla. Tesla can't cope with internal demand. They would rather just let others license their technology. Because of what I just talked about, so much money is going to be made here. Lots of money is usually translated to earnings. Wall Street loves profits. However, in Tesla's case, it's going to be very different. Extra money will go into growth. So yeah, profits will still remain low. Because profits will be low, Wall Street is still going to shit on Tesla. But at this point, I really don't give a crap anymore about Wall Street. We don't need Wall Street. Donkeys will be donkeys forever. I've never been so sure about a company. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Like how I invested in Apple and Facebook previously. Tesla is on a different scale altogether. I hope you liked the video. Appreciate a thumbs up and invest safe.